Hi guys, um, this is Sushant Gojal and today we are going to talk about um, what HIIT is. The full form is uh, of HIIT is High Intensity Interval Training. So basically, uh, High Intensity Interval Training is a type of training, uh, is a type of exercise where you would uh, ex exercise on high intensity for a particular uh, period of time and then you will um, exercise on low intensity or zero intensity for another period of time. For example, let's say you are running. So if you are running, at your, uh, let's say you uh, ran for, for uh, at your maximum speed for about 30 uh, seconds, 45 seconds or a minute. Uh, so, uh, so let's say you uh, ran at your maximum speed for a minute and then you started walking for another one minute or one and a half minutes. So that uh, was the first one minute was high intensity and the second one or one, uh, one and a half minute was uh, low intensity. And now what intensity is I have mentioned in my uh, previous video and uh, I would like to mention that you cannot be doing exercises on high intensity for very long periods of time, your body doesn't allow, human body doesn't allow. Uh, so for example, you cannot be running on your, uh, at your maximum speed uh, for one hour. Uh, your speed will uh, come down. Even if you think that you're putting in uh, maximum effort, your speed will come down. So, um, if you're, uh, so uh, taking this example, uh, you're running at your maximum speed for one minute, then you're walking, or you just completely stop for another one minute and then for uh, again for one minute you ran at your maximum speed then again for one minute you uh, came to uh, walking or completely stop then you repeated the whole procedure so basically you did periods of high intensity and low intensity so you did one minute high intensity one minute low intensity one minute high intensity one minute low intensity um, so when you are so you, uh, so uh, if you, if you think that you uh, uh, ran for one minute uh, at high intensity, so you can be taking rest for ten minutes and then again uh, run at your maximum speed for one minute. So the rest period should not be too long. Um, so usually they are one, one point five or two minutes. Uh, or basically, the low intensity periods are not too long. Uh, when you are taking a low intensity. Uh, period, uh, I would suggest that uh, you take both uh, low intensity and zero intensity. For example, you ran for one minute at maximum speed, then you walked for one minute. And again you ran for one minute at maximum speed, then again you walked for one or 1.5 minutes. Again you ran for one minute and now you walked for 30 seconds and then you completely stopped for 30 seconds. Uh, that is what I would suggest. Uh, you should not be like running at your maximum speed for one minute and then completely stop. Uh, uh, because your body should make a gradual switch. Uh, so if you are running at your maximum speed, uh, you should gradually stop. So run at maximum, walk and then stop. Now high, high intensity interval training uh, exercises or exercises with high intensity would burn fat even after you are done with your exercise. Um, for example, uh, uh, this high intensity workout uh, would last for 10, 15 or 20 minutes because I cannot be running at my maximum intensity for long periods of time. So uh, after these, uh, this uh, workout session of 20 minutes, uh, let's say I was doing it in a park and I came back home. even. Now, uh, from this time onwards, uh, for many hours, I would my body would be burning fat. It would be burning energy. Uh, uh, so, so, researchers say that your body will be burning fat for two or three days, for up to two or three days due to that intense workout. Um, but at least you can think that you would be burning fat for at least one day, even after you have exercise. Uh, and you would feel it, you will feel more hungry. So in a 20 minutes workout, you might not feel that much hunger, but in a 20 minutes uh, of high intensity workout, you uh, after 20 minutes of high intensity workout, you would feel uh, that you are feeling more hunger. 
you your body wants to eat more because it is burning more energy uh okay so basically high intensity exercises could burn fat even after you have exercised and one more thing um so uh, you can do high intensity uh, interval training with any sort of uh, physical movement uh, not necessarily running uh, you can do it uh, with uh, maybe uh, running on stairs uh, you ran on stairs uh, at a maximum speed and then you came down uh, walking just like that uh, or uh, just like uh, in the previous video i gave you an example of moving this hand at the maximum intensity and at a low intensity so there is also a high intensity and a low intensity movement but it is just moving one hand uh, not the whole body so it would not be a good exercise because it does not involve your whole body um, so we do not consider it uh so exercise like running or um, uh, or maybe uh, skipping uh, are better because they involve your uh, full body so okay uh, if you have any comments put them in the comment box if you like the channel please subscribe i'll see you in the next video